Why does Riker keep staring at my butt? Because you have a nice butt. We are the Binars. We finish each other's sentences. We go everywhere in pairs. Um, who, who, who are you guys? We are the Binars. And, and what, what are you guys doing here? We are looking for extra storage for our stuff. Like, like what kind of stuff? Tech stuff. All right, um, what do you guys need? I got, uh... PlayStation. PlayStation 5. Well, that that's mine. Um, do you have any external hard drive space? We have the cloud. Do you just want to... You can use my cloud storage. You're more than welcome to. That'll help. Do you want a holographic girlfriend? We created one for Riker. I'm good on holographic lady friends. Why does Riker keep staring at our butts? Dude, I, I, I couldn't tell you. I mean, you do have nice, nice butts. I don't know, that guy's weird, man. Do you think he'll like his holographic girlfriend? Probably. I've seen that guy go down to the holodeck and come out all sweaty, so... Either he's doing some warp calisthenics, or he's getting into one of Barclay's weird-ass sweaty hologram programs. I don't know. You're asking too many questions. How'd you guys get in here? We came through a rift in time. I, I, I don't even know what that means. Have you guys had Taco Bell? Do you guys know what Taco Bell is? What is this bell of taco you speak of? That's a, it's, it's a, it's a fast food restaurant in there. They're pretty bad, but uh, I got the munchies. And yeah, it's the closest thing around here. Can you drive stick? Space. The final frontier. Star Trek really freaks me out and stuff. Oh, hello, Starfleet Academy Dropout. My name's Adam, and... I like Star Trek. Who remembers the Binars? You know, those adorable, like, purplish short guys, and, uh, they, they cruise around in pairs, and... Oh, and those little, those little, uh, those, those guys. They stole, they stole the Enterprise and used it as a giant external hard drive. Yeah, those guys. They also made a, a sex robot hologram for Riker. And Picard goes in and cock blocks them and they just hang out in Nolins. Yeah, that, that episode. Yeah, it's a good one. It's actually one of my favorites because it feels like the most Star Trek, Star Trek The Next Generation episode. Like it... It gives you that that uh, TOS vibe, new cast. It's cool. It's like, oh, here's a new alien, and then something happens. Now fix the problem. You know, that's that right there is the Star Trek equation. But I think if you're listening to this, you probably know that. Can I ask you a question about the binars? Well, that being said, this week I watched Star Trek: The Next Generation, season one, episode fifteen entitled 11001001 now, i don't speak binary code but uh i'm pretty sure that stands for let's do a ride the enterprise because we can gentlemen if this is what you call enhancement you've got a gift for understatement all right i'll go ahead and try and wrap up this episode in 60 seconds or less start that timer the enterprise rolls up to starbase best buy and the Geek Squad does a technological diagnosis and some repair to the Enterprise. And it's the Binars! They're the uh, tech support. They are an alien race that uh, does everything in pairs, but we'll get into that later. So these sneaky little little guys, they, they make it look like the warp core is going to overload. And so everyone on the Enterprise has to get off into the uh, station and then they back the Enterprise out of the station and then they take it for a joyride. Meanwhile, Riker and Picard are the only two left on board, but they're in the holodeck. Pretty much the Binars, um, they need the ship as external storage because their planet's dying and if their planet dies, they die. Eventually they fix the problem with their planet as they're slowly dying and then, uh, well, they get saved in the nick of time. Enterprise, Star Trek, are these gentlemen the binars? I love this episode. It's it's so weird and awesome. And these binars, they're adorable. They talk like robots. They're about what four foot ten. I really wish they did more with these guys. It was just the one and done. This episode from season one. And that's the last time we ever get to see the binars. Unfortunately, they're a great race. Maybe they'll show up in maybe Prodigy, Lower Decks. 
season two of Strange New Worlds. Come on, come on, Star Trek writers. Do more with the binars. They're awesome. Where's Commander Riker? All right, I guess we'll talk about the um, the holo- holodeck program that they created for Riker to, to keep him busy. And there's a holographic lady. Her name's Minuet. She's this dime piece that just hangs out in this Louisiana bar. If you don't like Dixieland music, because you can't dance to it, I'll put that little sample right here. My name is Minuet, and I love all jazz, except Dixieland. You can't dance to it. Ha! <laughs> Maybe you can't dance to Dixieland jazz. Riker, hold my beer. Watch this, Minuet. Ha cha 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 cha! Look at me, I'm dancing to Dixieland, and I love it. Look at me, I'm swinging my hips and I'm doing a cool dance. Look at, look at, look at me go! Look at me go! Look, look at me, Minuet! Look at me go! What is that high pitched sound you make? A part that stood out to me the most, I think, from this episode is so. This is, I think, this episode aired in like '89 or '90, and it was way before cloud storage or even external hard drives. So the fact that there's a technologically advanced planet that needed to do like a hard reboot and needed some storage space, it's kind of cool. Like, um, I don't know, from a tech perspective, it's kind of kind of paved the way for cloud storage, which is, uh, huh. that's thinking in the future. The binars seem perfect for this. I do like in the beginning of this episode where Riker clearly checks out one of the Barnard's little, little butts, but uh, in his defense, she has like this apple bottom butt in those, uh, I don't know, like spandex, like pants, like yoga pants. I don't know. I'm a weirdo. I'm a, a pervert like Riker. I come from the, the Riker school of perversion. I wonder if the Barnard's pulled Riker's file and they're like, Yep, we know what he likes. He likes jazz music and uh, brunettes. Let's do that. Let's create a jazz program bar with a brunette. Who can conversate well and speak French? I know Picard was like, oh, you speak French. I thought it was going to get really weird. And it was going to be like this menage a trois. Menuet a trois. I don't know. I think my favorite part of this episode is Wesley Crusher. He was tipped off early in the episode. Like, what are these guys doing there? They're they're playing with all the wires underneath the circuit boards. They're this they're not fixing anything. What's going on here? Like he was intuitive enough to be like, these sneaky guys are doing something nefarious. Hey Paramount Plus, can we get a show about the binars? It'll be like a like a CBS sitcom. The Binars fall on CBS. It's about uh, these, these aliens. They roll around in pairs and finish each other's sentences. And they like hijacking stuff. They'll be like gone in 60 seconds, except for they're stealing spaceships. Maybe they can uh, go steal other spaceships from other IP. Like, you remember the time when the Binars stole the Battlestar Galactica? That was pretty rad. Remember the time when they joyrode the uh, Millennium Falcon? That was sweet. Remember when the Binar showed up and lost in space and just hung out with Robot and Will? Remember the Binar stole the Galaxy Quest? That was pretty sweet. Remember when the Binars fought the Xenomorphs? That was pretty cool. Remember when the Binars fought the Predator? I'd love to see that. A new Predator movie where they just... Two binars hunting one of the uh, predators. That'd be pretty sweet. Bring back Arnold for that role. Arnold Schwarzenegger, Jonathan Frakes, and two binars take on the predator. If it bleeds, we can kill it. Riker, stop staring at their butts, you sick fuck. Report. This episode concludes the best. Um, you see the the binars, they're slowly dying. And uh, as their planet gets saved, they come back to life miraculously. And Picard's like, hey, what the fuck? You stole my ship? And they're like, yeah, man, we're sorry. He's like, why don't you just ask? 
And they're like, well, we were afraid you were going to say no. Prime Directive, Star Trek. This episode's awesome. Watch it for yourself. Come to your own conclusions. And, uh, well, that's it. What's your name? Tell me you love jazz. You guys ready for your Klingon lesson for the week? Hey, how to speak. Klingon. I'm going to teach you guys how to say to gamble, take a chance, take a risk. Because the Binars took a risk of letting their planet die and they stole a ship and, you know, all well, the rest is history. Well, that statement, the take a risk in Klingon is pronounced sued. Sued. Take a chance, take a risk, steal the Enterprise. It's easier to ask for forgiveness than it is for permission. At least that's what I learned from this episode. The binar way. Well, I hope you guys had fun today and possibly learned something. Next month, I'm doing a four-part series on Ensign Kim. My favorite Star Trek character, only because he's Asian. And he served on the bridge. He wasn't no spouse of an officer. This guy's an officer himself. He doesn't get promoted seven years but yeah that guy he's, he's awesome he uh plays the clarinet and the saxophone and gets into trouble with ensign paris or lieutenant paris i don't know that guy who got promoted demoted and then promoted again meanwhile ensign kim is an ensign after seven years if you too like Ensign Kim, leave it in the comments. I'll shout you out. If you want to give me a, a little fun fact about Garrett Wang or or about Ensign Kim and why you like him, you know, leave, leave it in the comments or you can uh, shoot me a message on Instagram, Starfleet Academy Dropout. I guess to wrap thing up, let's hear a song about, about binary code for the binars. This is Binary Code by the Mysterons. Myst off their album, Meandering. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you next week.